To Michelle Love After Dark. I took a pill in the east to show a Fiji I was cool. And when I finally got so reflected, some of you may remember who I am. My name is Molly, baby. I'm living off of LA. I drive a sports car just to prove I'm a real big model. I was on third season, I believe. My name is Molly, baby. I made a million dollars and was spending on girls and shoes. You know how many people I am. Episode 7, Bride Tribe. And my cat is back. Don't mind him. He's very, um, gentle. Gentle cat. He's not vicious. Anyway. Make sure 
Michelle and said I need to make you keep you guys are well. So for Michelle Love's fan out there, don't worry about, don't worry about her. It's just well. She said to me not to make sure, not only to make sure that you guys are well, but to assure you that she's well. As well. So for this episode, as Michelle in this uh, episode of Michelle Love and as Michelle or Molly Baby, I'm here to answer a few questions and perhaps if we have time, we have a new game. It's called Sex S E X. The game for any couple. Thrupple. I quiet. I'm sorry. Excuse me, but will you give me a minute to kind of just relax? The last time I was here has been a while. It's been a while since the last time I was here. As Molly Baby. <laughs> Let me get comfortable in this seat. They provided me for this episode. I don't think I would want to ask for this chair again. I just don't think so. <laughs> This is as comfortable as it gets for me today. <sighs> Let's uh, answer a few questions, shall we? Let's proceed to the show. To those of you that just found out who I am, my name is Molly Baby. Thank you for giving me some time of your time to see me today. Nice to meet you as well, my loves. <laughs> been groped by a stranger at someone else's wedding. No. No. 
Have you ever toilet papered or egged someone's house? No. If you had to present a trophy to the sexiest woman in your group, would you award yourself? <laughs> Have you ever slept in a bed with two or more men at the same time? No. I know. I know. Have you ever been handcuffed to another person? No. Smiley baby, and some of you may have met me. I was on third season. That was a very nice and fun episode for me. I remember I have a card. I was sent to send the card to the bride. It will get, uh, that card will get to that person sooner. So let me, let's twist our minds, shall we? Name three things you should never do in bed. I think I answered this before. I would not fall asleep if I, A, want to have sex, right? Don't fall asleep too soon. Don't go to bed too, too drunk because then you won't. You won't. And the third one, uh, do your best to go to bed clean. So it's nice and, um, Fresh for you both. <laughs> what is your most exciting sexual fantasy? Is it actually? I don't fa fantasize. I don't have any fantasy. Yes, that's true. Molly Baby doesn't have sexual fantasy like most people I know anyway. What is the first what is the first thing you notice in someone of the opposite sex? Does it have to be our opposite sex? You know, like I mentioned before, I am a barber. I am a hairstylist. So it only Makes sense? Or it's safe to assume that I look at the hair first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guilty as fuck. <laughs> what do you feel is gross? <sighs> if you ask me, 
If it's dirty, it's gross. Right? I that's what I feel anyway. <laughs> Your words, what is a yeast infection? Infection. Gross. Something is not right down there. That's in my own words. So, that's kind of gross, right? Or is it just... What should you never promise your lover? <laughs> I think that's obvious. Don't overpromise, right? Don't say something you wouldn't do. That's not nice. my second episode with you as Molly baby a lot has changed since <laughs> in my world alone hmm. answering uh, some of these questions perhaps can tell you more about me that's why I do answer these questions to the best of my knowledge, so you can get to know me more. Just the uh, the cat, okay. Few more minutes. I think he wants to go outside. But don't you worry, boys. You have me for at least twelve more minutes. But don't worry about the cat people out there. I will take care of him soon after. All right. We have a show to do. So the show must go on, so shall we? malfunction worst on or off camera I do my best to cover me up whether that be Michelle love show no matter how short no matter how little my clothes are in the eyes or certain eyes I make sure that I do my best to cover the goods <laughs> Ha 
or plan to do that yet. I don't want to expose them goods. I think portraying Michelle of being Molly Baby too. this episode today is enough, more than enough. In anybody's eyes, in anybody's eyes. On social media and why? Actually, I don't stop people on social media or wherever, whenever. I don't do that. I think there there is a fine line between admiring or being a fan to somebody, but stalking them on social media is it's a no no. It's a no, no. What should you be famous for? And why? Mm. So, I need to answer this question today. There are plenty, plenty of things. I wish I can be famous for. However, I don't think, I just don't think that's an opinion to matter. Not only to me, I would say. So what should you be famous for and why? So if my opinion matters, to somebody, I would say I should be famous for something I do good. If no one wants to be famous for something they did but bad. Is that right? No one. No one would be like, I want to be famous for doing bad sex right <laughs> being a bad person who said no one ever right something I do good for somebody no matter how big or small that may be to some to some extent what are your most amazing dreams often about or often about Amazing dreams. Uh, all right, let me open the door again for you. We're almost done. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's fine. It's fine. Um. So again, what are your most amazing dreams? Often about. You know, to be quite honest, these days I don't. I barely have dreams. But when I do, or when I did, most amazing dreams, I would say, are those things that only you can see on movies, like sci-fi actions. You're seeing butterflies and beautiful things that doesn't normally happen in real life. Colorful and bright. Gives you hope, right? I think anything that gives you hope, Gives you some sort of amazing feeling. with you. Stress keeps me up at night, you know. Yeah, even if I wanted to sleep because my body is exhausted, for example, I can't. It's just <laughs> some stress just 
doesn't help you sleep at night. So I know. All right, just give me a second. Daddy. My cat wants to go outside badly now. That's why he's young. But don't you worry, I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you, Toby. We only have a few more minutes. Okay? Yeah. Maybe I won't invite the cat here next time we film. <laughs> Alright, so the the question was uh what keeps what keeps you up late at night when you cannot sleep stress, I would say is the most, you know. Even when even when I'm tired, sometimes I would sleep right away because I'm just so tired. Or if I'm hungry, I would just sleep because I'm just like hungry. I don't have energy to like even keep my eyes open. But uh, stress, some stress can be hard to fall asleep uh, for more reasons than one, you know. I hope if the, if there's anything I hope for everybody or almost and like we shouldn't have some sort of stress in life you know we should oh this episode is coming to an end I cannot express how much I feel delighted to be here again as Molly baby. <laughs> this new game with you my season or my episode is done is done for today and I hope wherever you guys are you guys are well you guys are taking care of yourself I'm only given half an hour to do these shows but don't you worry baby oh Come by again in time. We'll meet each other again. Um, I'll uh, get uh, Michelle up just to say hi for a minute here. So give me a second. <laughs> and thank you thank you for being there with us you'll see me again I love you guys and hope all is well with you happy Monday